The meeting of the Esoteric Writers Club is now called to order. Silence, please. <clears throat> Are there any corrections to last week's minutes? Hey, what did she say? Shh. I didn't think so. <clears throat> I edited them myself. They're perfect, of course. A wonderful job, Secretary Sarah. <laughs> One's gate. Thank you. Are. What sort of nonsense is that? Try one of my delicious creams. For a job well done. The specifications. Thank you so much, Doris. And Mathilde, how is your writing project coming along? I'm, I'm still not feeling quite inspired, Doris. Perhaps I, I need more time to find my writer's voice. Oh. Janet, get a cookie. Thank you, Doris. Confound it, my ears are waxing up again. What is it that Brunhilde just said? Actually, it's Matilda. Shh! And it's Matilda. You know, like the song, Waltzing Matilda? Oh, yes, 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 of course. She's not ready yet to present her writing. Oh, I'd be a silly old cow about it. I say, get on with it. <clears throat> Gerald, will you please pass the cookies? Thank you, Colonel. Oh, Doris, these oh, they smell wonderful. Oh, yes, yes, like fluffy and too sweet. Oh, mm. yes, yes. Okay. All right, silence, everybody, unless you have something to share. A decision. I'm going to showcase Matilda's work. Oh dear. I wouldn't want to take up anyone's time. Oh, much, much. Uh, well, there must be some better writers here than me. My dear, I know what I'm doing. And you've come such a long way. You don't need to be my protege anymore. You need to spread your wings and, and soar. Well, it's funny you should say spread your wings, because it reminds me of a little piece I've been working on. Well, that's wonderful. Do share. Oh, I, I don't know if I could. Just go ahead. Oh, I insist, Matilda. Go ahead, read. Well, if you insist. This is called Spread Your Wings and Other Things. And it begins. Randolph. Threw Matilda onto the bed with oh, a oh, yeah. familiarity. <laughs> well, I do see it needs some more editing. Um, um, now it's time for the all about me portion of the agenda. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go first, of course. Now, as all of you members know, I've been considering pen names. And I think I've narrowed it down to three. Rosalinda, Hyacinth, and Presalind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're so <laughs> wonderful! <laughs> won't people assume that you're a romance writer then? Oh, I'm sorry, my nurse must be acting up again. What's that? Back at two? I mean, you're so serious about your writing. What's wrong with Doris? Cheryl, please. You have so much to learn about marketing to your audience. Well, pardon my ignorance, but it just seems to me that romance writers always choose the fluffy and unusual names. <clears throat> and it just <clears throat> doesn't suit your persona, Doris. And when you try to promote your books, your readers might sense a contradiction. Did she 
didn't say she fluffed. No, she said she picked fluffy manes. Doris is gonna make mince meat out of her. <clears throat> well, it seems as though we've used up all of our all about me time. We'll catch up with the rest of you next week. And now on to some exciting news. Sarah. Well, before I begin, I would like to thank everyone, especially Doris, for helping me with the planning and organizing. Well, anytime I can share my knowledge and experience. Gesundheit. Oh, sorry. The results are in, and the following people will be part of our new and exciting writers group. There will be Doris, of course, and myself, and also Mathilde, and Janet, and Muriel, and Gerald, of course. Uh, we couldn't forget our long-standing veteran, could we? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. There we are. Excuse me, I have a question. Excuse me, did anyone notice my name was missing? Well, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't going to... Allow me to explain. What we look for in a potential member is whether someone could carry the group forward. You know, make it more vibrant, exciting. Boy. God, I think a tempest is brewing. But this is a support group. Yes, well, we can only do so much supporting. Absences. You need to be here every week. But I've been... No excuse. I've been really sick. No doubt searching for your ability. And you seem to be struggling to find an atom of compassion. What kind of writer can you be if you can't be empathetic? How dare you? Question my observation skills. Oh, you can observe all you want, but funny, you can't relate to another human being. Seeing doesn't necessarily mean understanding. You out of order! And you are out of ideas. One published children's book in 1972 doesn't make you even remotely qualified to judge the ability of others. I'll have you know, many admired my work. Many of your writer's club minions, but by no one with any credentials or anyone published. Ladies, it's your business if you want to enable this woman and stroke her ego. But I can think of better things to fondle. Oh, and if I didn't make it clear, those are the most stupid, and pretentious pen names I have ever heard. I recommend Boris, because your writing is such a great big yawn. Well, you must admit, Doris, the title was very stupid. I mean, what child wants a book called Chores That Children Love? Good morning. Morning. We're very excited about your work, Cheryl, and so glad you chose us as your agency. Well, it did come up tail. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, of course. But seriously, you've been very supportive, and I really appreciate that. Now, get out there and flog those scripts. All you have to do is sign the agreement, and we can go for lunch. I'll ask my assistant to come in and witness our signatures. There's something important I need to know before I sign the papers. You have some concerns? Yes. Yeah. Are you by? You're a tough negotiator. And you buy when we do lunch on a weekly basis. And you send Sven over for afternoon massages to loosen me up for writing. I can see I'm going to have to call in the lawyers. <laughs> Randall, can you come in here please to witness our signatures? Lovely. 
lovely. Thank you for being no more trouble than usual. <laughs> Thank you, Randolph, for taking care of this. Shall we? I can't wait to hear more about Dory. How on earth did you come up with that character? Oh, all conjured up by creative genius, of course. No resemblance to anyone from my old writer's group. No, not at all. Are we gonna have to get some consent forms signed? <laughs> nah, who would ever admit to being Doreen? Writer Award goes to the most promising fiction writer. The competition for this award is intense and the winner can be very proud to be the recipient. And the winner of this year's award is... Cheryl Beatty. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good work. Thank you. Thank you everyone. I'm extremely honored to win this award. And I would like to thank my family and my agent Karen for their unwavering support. I'd also like to thank my very first writers group, the Esoteric Writers Club. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, everyone. Door. 